In this tutorial, I will be showing you uh, a quick way of being able to use 2D design to make some decorative followers for the, the top of our cam toy. So we're going to start by opening up 2D design. Now, if we have a look at uh, this kind of this version here, this one's in SolidWorks. Uh, Okay, now obviously this is, well, this is actually a photo, but to make this you'd be using, you could use SolidWorks to actually plan out how the things fit together, etc, etc, to work out the kind of distances between things. Now if we go for something a little bit more simple, okay, so this one here, uh, they've designed the, the kind of top and a front piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, a front piece, another front piece, and then just a kind of a decorative bit to go on the front of our cam. Now we're obviously going to have to think about the distances between the sides, Okay, and the distance, how far we can actually go down the way without kind of catching on the cams. Okay, so we need to be careful with the, the numbers that we use. So let's go into 2D design. I'm going to start. Now, as a kind of inspiration, so you'd need to have a, an idea in your head, I've just found this um, daft sort of picture I found online that said, uh, I must ask you to please brush your teeth sort of thing. Okay, so I thought, well, maybe I could use that. Uh, I could maybe have the eye as one uh, part going up and down, and I could have the moustache as another piece going up and down, and then I could have the writing on the front of my cap. So that's, that's my idea in my head. That's what I'm trying to work towards. Okay, so in 2D design, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, the writing. So I want to do the little kind of front piece. Now if I go over to the shapes here, okay, I could could just start drawing the shape, um, but it's going to be uh, difficult for me to get the kind of exact dimensions. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm actually going to draw as lines, because the lines, I know I can actually do a set line. So if I hold the line down, so I've just got my left button on the mouse, and if I go across, uh, one, two, three, here we go, so the third one, it says, draw a line with a point and a given angle and length. Okay, so I'm going to click on there, and I'm going to type in, uh, I'm going to make it 106, okay, because that's what it's going to be. I know it's 100 on the top, but obviously with 3 mil each side, that's going to make 106. I'm going to keep the angle 0, just because I want it to be straight, uh, sorry, horizontal, and say OK. So there's my first line. So I just draw that in there. Uh, I'll just click on the black arrow and then back to that again. So it asks me again which I want to be. And this time I want to be 25 mils. And this is going to be down the way. So I'm going to say it 90 degrees. OK. So 25 and then 90. And say OK. And I'm just going to get this one to attach onto there. So as neatly as I can. I'm just going to click on there. And do the same on the other side. If it doesn't quite match up don't worry too much. And then I'm just going to do that last piece again. So just black arrow back to this line with the given angle and direction and just change that back to zero angles and or zero degrees, I should say, and 100 length. And that will give me this final piece here. That says I'm just going to connect up there. OK. Oh, now I've made a mistake there because that should have been 106. So let's see if I can actually show you a little tools in here that will be allowing me to change that. If I click on here and go down to the bottom right to where it says property, I can click on there and I'm just going to change the length to 106 and then say update and OK. All right. Now typically that's drawn it the other way so I'm going to have to just have to move it so I'm just going to click on the left and move it across there and there we go. Uh, not quite. I can do a little bit more. Now, if you're moving things around, it's not quite working. What you might have on the right-hand side, you've got a step lock on. So if I just untake that off, okay, because it's trying to be helpful, but quite often it isn't. Uh, and I'm just going to keep moving that till I'm happy. But that's kind of lined up. We one little. There we go. Okay, so I've eventually got that how I wanted. Now this is obviously going to cut out, so I'm just going to highlight the whole thing and go up to where it says line and call for colour. And I'm going to make that red. Okay, so that's now going to cut out. So I can put my writing on the top of there. So I wanted to have, let's just remember what my message was. I want to say, uh, you two please brush your teeth, I'm going to say. Okay, so to do the writing, click on where it says ABC. Click roughly in the box, and I'll put my writing there. You to please brush your teeth. 
Okay, now on the settings, I can click on settings. I want to make the height of that about 8 mil. Okay, that's the, the actual top. And then I'm just going to look through here and see if I can find like a kind of nice swirly writing that might. Uh, that's a nice one there. Okay, so it's a little bit swirly, but not too much. All right, and there's all sorts of other things I can change in here. If I want it to be bold, I can do that, or just italic. Uh, there's all sorts of different settings that I can put on there. So I'm just going to go with that one and say OK. And I might put a little exclamation mark at the end of that as well and say OK. All right, so that's drawn that in there for me. Now, that's obviously far too big at the moment. So uh, I'm going to go back to Properties and Settings. And I'm just going to bring that down, try 6 mil. And OK. Uh, now, it might be easier on two lines. I want to click back on property. I want to say, you two, please brush. And then I'll put that, your teeth, on the next line there. Do I want that to be centralized? If I go to settings, I can change the alignment to centered. So hopefully that put both bits in the writing into the middle of the box and then I can just move that across the way there. That looks a bit better. You to please brush your teeth. So that's going to be the, 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 the bit that we're going to stick on the front of our frame that's just going to cover the between the, 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 the bits that you do for the silver badge, that kind of the two follower guys that's just going to glue onto there. Okay, so now I want to make the, the top bits. Okay, so as a guide of how big, I'm going to go to the uh, shape tool. I'm going to left click and hold that on. And there's lots and lots of different options here. Uh, it says I can draw triangles and things. But what I want I'm going to use, I'm going to use the polygon with a given. Um, length here we go so it's the second last one so it's polygon with given side length and center so I click on there obviously i just want these to be little squares so i'm just going to say four and i'm going to change that to 40. okay now you might think well hang on the top of it's 100 i've got it divided by two it doesn't quite work that way you've got the kind of the gluing space and it'll also bash into each other so i just want them to be a little bit further apart so just to be on the safe side so i'm going to say 40. Okay, and say OK. And I'm just going to click and I'm just trying to make that straight. And then I'm going to uh, click again and again make that straight as I can. So I'm just, it, it just sort of naturally wants to twist around. So use your mouse and just kind of line this it straight. And then I'm going to just bring that to there. Okay, now I'm going to have my drawing on these square bits. Depending on how you're doing yours, you might want the outside of your shape to actually cut round the outside. If you want to do that, I'll, I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so I'm just having writing on mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make these red while I'm here. Okay, so they cut. And then I'm going to show you how to put a picture on there. Now, to put a picture on, if I go to uh, my internet browser and so the first thing I want is let's get a moustache okay it's already typed out there for me so on Google if I type in moustache and then I'm gonna to go to click on images and I'm gonna to go to tools and I've got a couple of options here that I can use first of all I'm gonna say it needs to be black and white and then I can also if I want to say it needs to be clip art Okay, and I've got a various selection of uh, shapes that look quite moustache -y. Okay, so I'm going to try this one. And I'm just going to go right click on there and go copy. And to 2 design, right click and paste. Now that one's not worked. Sometimes with a picture, it just won't work. Whatever you do, it just comes out strange. Okay, so I'm just going to go Control and Z or delete that. Back to there, and we'll just need to try a different one. So that was that one. Let's try this one here. So right click again, copy image, back to here, right click, paste. Okay, so there we go. That's coming quite nicely. I'm just going to move it to center. Now I want to shrink that right down. So I'm going to hold down my shift button on my keyboard, grab one of the corners. Now while we hold the shift down, it's just to stop it kind of stretching and um, moving the ratio. If I hold the shift down, it will maintain the same kind of the width and height. All right, so I'm just going to stick that so it's kind of in the middle-ish there. That looks like it's going to fit just about. I want to go a little bit smaller. So again, holding the shift down just a little bit. Okay. Now, at the moment, that's an image that the laser cutter won't recognize what to do with. So what I need to do is go to bitmaps at the top. 
And then the very last option says vectorize. So it's going to turn it from being a series of dots um, into a series of instructions which the computer can understand how to draw the picture. All right, so just click on the actual image and I'm going to say monochrome and OK. And OK again. All right, so that's now something that the computer can actually recognize. OK. Now I'm quite happy with that shape because I'm going to cut around the outside here. But just as an example, okay, so let's do a little side here. If, say, I wanted to actually just cut out the moustache shape, okay, what I would do, I'm just going to copy this so I can um, control C, control V. All right, so I can show you over here a sort of alternative way of doing it. Now, if I wanted to cut round the shape here, what I can do is I can use the contour tool. So on the left hand side over here, there's a contour button. And I need to say contour at zero. Okay, so what this is going to do is going to draw a line, kind of almost like an invisible line, if you like, around the outside of that, which then I'll be able to select and say make it red, and then I can get rid of this middle bit. So I'll be left with just the outside. So let's see how that works. So contour sparing zero. Okay, and then I'm just going to click on the outside, kind of close to that. Okay, you can just about see this tiny little bits of purple there. So you can see that it has drawn a line. So I'm just going to go to um, color, red, okay, and then I'm just going to select as near as I can to that outside that shape, and there you go, you can, can you see the, the red line around the outside now, okay, now if I want to get rid of the, the middle bit, okay, I can probably, let's just click on there and try deleting it, so if I just go push my delete button, oh, no, that's uh, deleted the wrong thing, let's bring that back, okay, if I, let, I've, I've clicked on the, the, the shape, I'm going to go to fill and see if it will give me an option to say no fill, no, uh, what about if I say color, no, let's try control Z again, okay, so it's selecting, what's happening is it's selecting the top bit but not the bottom bit, I wonder if I could just move that off, oh there you go, that's probably the easiest one, so if I just move that away then I can just get rid of that, okay, and then I've got my star shape, alright, so that's another way of doing it if you want to draw around something. Okay, now I'm going to do my second one over here, so this time I'll do a little eyeball, okay, so the person's going to try and think a little bit about the, the bad pun. Okay, so let's do an eye, and I quite like the look of that one there. Okay, so I'm just going to right click again, copy, into here, right click paste, and again I'm just going to shrink that down, holding the shift button, Okay, shrink it so it's just about fits into there. Go a little bit bigger. All right, and then I need to remember to vectorize that. So bitmap, vectorize, click on the image, monochrome, OK. All right, now to get these to attach, so that's just going to glue on the front. These two need to attach to the followers, so it's going to allow it to kind of go up and down. So they're going to have a 3mm diameter hole, or 1.5 radius, that I need to put in there. So if I go onto the circle tool, hold that down, the second one across has got a big R on it for radius. So if I click on there and change that to 1.5, let's see, okay. Now the distance is 10mm um, from the bottom. Okay, the actual follower's got like a little gap, so you want to be at least 10 mil from the bottom. All right, now I could do this by, excuse the pun, I could do it by eye and say, well, that's about there, or I could actually kind of measure it. So it's probably a little bit nicer to measure something. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to measure something. So I'm just going to plonk that in there, and hopefully that's right, but let's just check. So I'll go to over here to dim lines, and this is like a little ruler. Okay, so if I say, right, I want to measure from the center of there to the bottom of that line and it wants to be about 10 mil and then so I click there click there and then you get these arrows so if I just move that across the way kind of out the way so it's a bit like smart dimensions in um, SOLIDWORKS so it's actually telling me that's nearly 15 so I can actually move that down the way so if I move that down the way now the problem you have is if I move that down the way that won't update unless I select both bits so I'm going to try and see if it'll let me select both bits. Okay, so there you go. So you, well, how I did that, I clicked on the circle, or the piece that you want to, to move, hold the shift button down, click on the dimension, so both bits are selected. Now, if I just move that down the way, you should see that both numbers are updating. 
Now the problem I've got there though is that that's actually sort of squashed the, the circle. So I'm going to have to delete that circle. But I know it now needs to be just sort of just above the, the dots there. Okay, so I know roughly I'm a bit better. So click on there, uh, 1.5, okay. So it's going to be just to be safe there and in the center there. Okay, so these two bits here, I'm going to put a bolt through and that will attach onto the follower. So that's going to go up and down there. So these two will be bobbing up and down. Okay, and then this bit here, which is 106 across by 25 down, that will cut around the outside, etch in there, and then that can glue onto the front. Okay, hope that's been useful. Do remember to save. I know I've not saved mine. Do remember to save your work as you're going along. And once you've done this, you need to email that to the laser cutter. Now remember how to email to the laser cutter. You need to open up your Outlook. So if you go to the bottom left, type in Outlook or just Out. Outlook will come up. Okay, once it's on there, click on New. Type in laser cutter, all one word, L-A-S-E-R-C-U-T-T-E-R. If you click on check names, it should underline it so it recognizes it. And then just attach this file and send that to the laser cutter. Okay, well done. Hope yours is looking uh, good.